Hey y'all, this is Amanda and welcome back to my Texas Zone 8A garden and it is cold outside today. I know it's rare that you would ever come on my channel and find that it's cold. It's always hot here. Um, but we're finally into some really good cold snaps for the winter. So I am excited to finally get my pre-chilled tulips and hyacinths out and planted in some beautiful containers. So I've got a collection over here, a wide variety of tulips and hyacinths, and I wanted to chat a little bit about planting tulips and hyacinths in the south. My particular zone is zone 8A, and typically if you are zone 8 through 11, tulips and hyacinths need some special treatment if you're going to be planting them in your garden. Tulips and hyacinths typically need at least 13, minimum 13 weeks of chill time in order to be able to bloom. And so a lot of people more up north can go ahead and plant those outside and get that 13 weeks with just their standard winter weather. However, here in my particular zone, zone 8A, we have bouts of warm weather. In fact, for the last two weeks, we've been in the 60s and 70s, and that's just not cold enough for tulips and hyacinths to be able to form blooms. So what we do is we trick the bulbs, the tulips and the hyacinth bulbs, into thinking that they've gone through a winter process by doing a process called pre-chilling. So basically, I've taken my bulbs and a lot of these, um, actually these over here from Color Blends, I got these from um, Color Blends in, I think November is when they came in. And instead of planting them out in my landscape, I put them into my refrigerator that's out in my garage. I like to choose a refrigerator that does not have any other um, vegetation in it, that doesn't have any food. Um, this is our beverage refrigerator outside and that's better for the bulbs. And so I put the bulbs in there and they've been chilling the entire time. So that's quite a while. So half of November, all of December, and we're about three weeks into January. So we've got nine weeks already. So now I'm just looking at about another four weeks of cooler weather to be able to have these bloom. And so now feels like a good time. We've gotten through the weird warm spikes and now we're going into winter weather. So now's a good time for me to go ahead and plant my tulips and hyacinths after I've tricked them with pre-chilling. Now, I definitely pre-chilled some of my bulbs myself. However, you can order from Color Blends, you can order already pre-chilled bulbs, like already done. So that's a really nice service. You obviously need to pay for that service, um, but you can do that. And then a lot of local nurseries will pre-chill bulbs. These, all these packets over here are pre-chilled bul bulbs that I purchased from my local nursery called Covington's, and that is in Rowlett, Texas. And um, they actually have them all 50% off right now. And so I ended up getting a wide variety, you know, it's like 10 tulips for $7 already pre-chilled. That's a really great deal <laughs> in my opinion. So I went ahead and picked up a wide variety of those. Now hyacinth, I don't have a ton of hyacinth this year. It was more of an experiment year for me for hyacinth. So I did buy some from uh, Color Blends. I will say that I've had some rot over time. So originally this had 25. I think I've had five or six rot in the refrigerator since November. So what I've done is I just go check them weekly, squeeze them to see if they feel soft or you know not good and I remove the bad ones um, along the way. I don't want to leave the rotting ones in there and you know I don't want them to spread their rot to the other bulbs. I don't know if that's a thing but in my mind it seems like a bad idea. <laughs> so now I've got all these pre-chilled tulips and hyacinths. So what am I going to do with them? Well I'm not going to put them in the ground in my garden and the reason being is like it's still kind of we just got out of a warm sap and the ground's still kind of warm. So what I've decided is I'm going to put them in containers and these containers because they're a above ground, they're gonna stay colder throughout my winter season, which I think is best for these tulips. And I've kind of got a, a, an array of pots over here. I'm kind of going for all light colored containers. Some of these I got from um, a local, uh, local estate sale. These two, I found this guy on the side of the road a couple of weeks ago. And so I've kind of collected these over time. And so I'm gonna plant up all of my tulips and all of my hyacinths in these containers. And then I'm gonna be tucking them onto my front porch in the shade where it's nice and cool and they can continue going through their cold spell right now. Once I feel like we've gotten through, you know, the coldest parts of our winter and when we're starting to warm up, I'm going to move my containers out into my garden and I'm going to tuck the containers in different places in order to have a show of tulips or hyacinths for the spring. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the varieties that I'm growing this year. 
From color blends, I have three varieties. The first one is Angelique. It's a really pretty pink white color. And I will go ahead up and just throw up the photo and name, and then I will link the in-depth video of what I ordered from color blends. I'll link that below in the description. So we've got the Angelique. I also have Blushing Lady, which is a yellow and rose tone. For the Hyacinth, I've got Etouffee, which is a mix of pastel colors. For the pre-chilled bulbs that I purchased from Covington's, I've got Ruby Prince. I got two of those. I got Salmon Impression, which is supposed to do pretty well in my area. I got Queen of the Night, which is also supposed to do very well in my area. Okay, and one bag of the Sunny Prince, which is a yellow tone and one bag of Strong Gold, which is also a yellow tone. They kind of have a little bit of a different shape, so that'll be fun to watch. And then I'm just gonna be utilizing a standard potting soil. I'm not going to be adding fertilizer. These bulbs, all the fertilizer they need is within these bulbs. Okay, as we get planting, I'm gonna chat a little bit more about some of the characteristics of tulips and hyacinths and how to grow them in the South. Okay, I know you're shocked, but I'm actually wearing gloves today. <laughs> Not necessarily because I'm trying to protect my hands, but because it's cold, it's cold outside. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with this container first. This is a vintage container that I purchased from an estate sale. And all I'm gonna do is fill it up with soil, and then my tulips are gonna be planted uh, four inches apart, five inches deep. I am not going to plant them four inches apart. I'm gonna pack them in here because I'm going for a certain look on my containers and I want them to be really full. I don't intend on leaving these. Tulips and hyacinths in the south are typically treated as annuals. So you put the bulb in and then that's it. You know, you don't worry about them or expect them coming back in the fall. You can remove them if you want. Um, but they don't go, like I said, we don't have the 13, the minimum 13 weeks of chill time for them to do well in our area. So they're just treated as annuals. Now you might have some tulips that you're like, oh no, they'll come back. They, a lot of them will come back, but just the greenery portion of them will come back, just the foliage. And if you're cool with that, that's cool too. might not be able to fit all of them in here. So you're gonna wanna point the pointy top of the bulb up and nestle it down in like the container like that. So let me take a few of these out. Anything that feels soft, you don't want to plant because it's probably rotting. These all feel really good. I was very happy with the size of all the bulbs from Color Blends. I was very happy with the price as well. So just as simple as that, getting them all tucked in here. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top them with about five inches of soil. I'm just breaking apart any large pieces as I put them in here. All right, and then as I finish each container, I'm gonna move them back here onto the front porch in the shade to allow them, you know, the optimal opportunity to chill, all right? If I put them out here in the sun, even in our Texas sun, I mean, we could still have some days where we're getting pretty warm. And like I said, the reason I was putting them in the containers is because I think that's gonna allow them to be cooler for longer as opposed to putting them into the ground. So I'm gonna go move each container back as I'm finishing filling it. So I already got some soil in this container. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna toss some of it into another container for now. And in this container, I'm gonna do a mix of the Queen of the Night, just like that deep purple tone. Oh, there you go. And I'm gonna mix in some of the Salmon Impression. All 
Actually, I'm going to go ahead and spread out my queen of the night first before I mix all these bulbs up. And then I can go back in with the salmon impression and fill in right between. I mean, you can really jam pack bulbs in here for tulips and such. That's how flower farmers grow them. They grow them very close together. These are nice, healthy bulbs. Very pleased with the price I paid. Okay, got those filled in really well. All right, and then we're gonna top it with additional soil. Remember I said I'm not feeding these bulbs. They have everything they need in the bulb right now. They've got all the fertilizer that they need. That's why a lot of times like in, when you're after your bulbs bloom, a lot of people will say, well, leave the greens up, leave the leaves up until it, they fade. And that's because at that time, those leaves are just drawing energy into the bulbs for the flowering for next year. Okay. Another one done. Okay, I literally found this container on the side of the road, y'all. Someone was throwing it away. So I had my kids in the car and I literally threw it in reverse and my kids are so used to it. I love finding stuff on the side of the road. <laughs> All right, in this one, I've got a few Angelique left. So I'm gonna spread them out in here and then I'm gonna fill in with some of the Blushing Lady. Okay, I've got a couple of these bigger containers and I've got two of these and so I'm going to match them and fill them both with a mix of red and yellow tulips. So a lot of people ask, well how do I know when to plant tulips? You just need to look at your zone, figure out how many, to figure out how many weeks of cooler weather you have and go from there. So because I pre-chilled these, I can kind of fake it with them. And so that's something for you to think about too. Are your bulbs pre-chilled? How long have they been pre-chilled? If you plant them outside, do you have enough winter time where between the pre-chill and the winter weather outside, will you have a minimum of 13 weeks? But also, especially if they're pre-chilled, and you can pre-chill them for 13 weeks if you want. You can just stick them in your refrigerator and do that. And then after that, I mean, in the south, you can really plant tulips whenever. As long as you can work the ground, you can plant tulips outside. You just need to make sure that they have the appropriate amount of time for pre-chilling. I think I'm gonna put, I think I'm gonna put a couple of the blushing ladies in here too. So this color combination is gonna be yellow, red, and a little bit of pink, or pink yellow. The blushing ladies have a pink yellow tone to them.
finally put this on a block to raise it up a little bit, I'm going to plant hyacinths. And they're a little bit different in that they are not planted as deep. Ooh, apparently. Did y'all see I wore my hair down today? Oh, I don't know how people do it. It's driving me crazy. Okay. I have to go to a pep rally for my daughter after this. And, uh, needed to do my hair and everything so okay I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put all of my hyacinth in there I might have to do a couple of containers okay so these are planted about one to two inches below the soil surface I'm actually gonna take out some of this soil here's the thing about hyacinth there's also another trick to them oh I've got hyacinth bulbs rolling everywhere Another trick to hyacinth. Once you've got them planted in, in your container, you want to put them in a cold, dark place. So that's why I'm choosing my front porch. And you want to allow them to grow, let the shoots come up about two inches before you move them into the sun. And that is what will help you get taller hyacinth that you can utilize her arrangements. If you put them directly out into the sun, they're gonna go into like super bloomy mode and you're gonna get short stubby flowers. So put them in your container, plant them up, one to two inches below the soil surface. It's okay, their tips can peek out a little bit. It's not the end of the world. And put it in a cold, nice cool, dark place. And allow them to wake up like that in a cold, dark area. Once the shoots that come up are about two inches, then you can move it into a sunny location. There we go. Because of course I didn't get this on video, uh, I wasn't recording, I just used my watering can and I just lightly watered the top of the containers. Nothing crazy, just want to moisten up the soil lightly and I did that on all the containers. We're not trying to drench them or drown them, you know, just a nice watering. And after that, you really shouldn't have to water them much unless you come out and the soil is just ridiculously dry. Um, really the moisture is going into the bulbs. The bulbs are sucking up this moisture and they should be fine. Okay, we're good now. I got that all done. So I have seven containers of a mixes of tulips and hyacinth. Very excited to see how they do. Um, I think the hardest part of me is if these do well, do I harvest them and use them for flower arrangements or do I leave them in a garden? I think that's always Something that's really hard for me because I love it when something looks whimsical and magical in the garden and I kind of feel guilty when I cut it and bring it in. I never feel guilty about zinnias because they're so prolific, but you know, tulips and hyacinth, you're going to get like one bloom from each bulb. And so, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what I end up doing. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video about growing tulips and hyacinth in the south. My zone is zone 8A. And so this video is more for people who are in zones eight through 11. And so our tulips and hyacinths need about minimum 13 weeks of cold temps. So you can either do a mix and pre-chill them in the refrigerator and then put them out for the rest of the winter. Um, you can do a mix and kind of fold them that way, or you can put them pre-chilled 13 weeks straight into your refrigerator and then plant them out into your landscape or containers. I chose to pre-chill uh, 
chill them for about nine weeks and then now we'll do about four weeks outside. I chose to do them all in containers because I thought that would give them the optimal cool conditions. I've also got them up on my front porch out of the sun so that they can stay nice and cool. And then once we're kind of warming up a little bit, I will start moving these containers and tucking them into different places in my garden so that I can have a splash of early color from tulips and hyacinths. I'm so excited. Can you tell? I'm so excited. Can't wait to see how they do. All right, I hope I covered everything for you guys regarding the tulips and the hyacinths. I will try to do a follow-up video on these when they start blooming. Most likely, it's going to be smaller, shorter videos, either on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, or Instagram. Um, the community tab on YouTube does not allow me to post videos. It only allows me to post photos, so I can do that as well. But most likely, that's what it's gonna be. Um, I'll also have an update during some early spring tour, garden tours, which will be fun and um, it'll be interesting. I'll let you know how I go about harvesting them or if I decide to harvest them and just decide to leave them instead. We'll see. Okay, and also if you're interested, make sure you check me out on my community tab on my YouTube page or you can check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I do tend to post daily. As always, she's a mad gardener or decorator or anything else that she wants to be. Thanks, y'all.